we have all the media and I am going to use it fully. Whenever I do anything, I do it fully. I squeeze the last drop out of everything. There is no problem in it. And if politicians can use the media, businesses can use the media, all kinds of lying advertisements are on the media, then why truth should remain behind? It has to come into the marketplace its only presence will be enough for many lies to die. If you write a book, somebody has to purchase it first. Secondly, he has to read it. The book has become out of date. If the person can see it on the television without purchasing a book and without reading it, and remember always, seeing reaches deeper in you than reading. Reading are only words. Seeing has a totally different effect. It is almost life, as if you are hearing me. My gestures, will be missed in the book. My silent pauses will not be there in the book. My eyes, which say so much, that you may put the same sentence in the book, but it has lost almost 80% of its meaning. Because that 80% was not in the sentence, but in things around it. The eyes, the hands, the personality, the man, the face, his emphasis, his way of saying a thing, his voice, his authority, which penetrates the heart. The coming days are days of television. And television makes me available to the whole world. Buddha had to travel for 42 years 
continuously. And then too he could not go out of his state Bihar, not even all over India. In 42 years he could manage only one state. India consists now 30 states. And at that time, Buddha's time, it was double than it is now. Sixty states, he covered only one state. I can manage sitting in my chair and I can cover the whole world. So remember, whatever I am saying is not just for you. I am talking also for the future generations. 